Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to the second video of the Monolith to Microservice project series with Golang. So as you know, I don't, I don't waste any time. So I'll tell you more about the project as we code along. So just open up your terminal like I have done. I'm in a uh, folder where I usually keep my Golang projects. And I'm going to go ahead and create a directory quickly. So it's going to be called Monolith to Microservice project. All right, and we'll cd into it. And we'll open up our code editor. And in this video, my uh, goal is to get you to start, like create at least the entire project structure, right? All the folders. So I believe in creating all the project structures, all the folders and all the files also inside it. All the files can be empty, but I believe in creating that first so that you get like an architectural view of how we're going to be building this. Now, recently I got a view, uh, I got a comment from uh, somebody called Henry Snoop. Uh, Henry Snoop, if I'm pronouncing that right, I'm not sure. So uh, he said that I don't use a lot of interfaces in my projects. I should be using that. So, uh, you know, the only reason I was not using it because I think it's slightly complicated. Sometimes it confuses people. So, but in this video, I want to use, uh, you know, interfaces since I think that, you know, people probably want to see uh, videos with interfaces. So in this series, I'll be using interfaces. So I'm, I'm going to change around my project a little bit to accommodate interfaces as well so that you get to learn something new. If you don't know what interfaces are, uh, you should probably take a small look at what they are, um, just like a you know, primer, uh, because I'll be using that in this video, right? And uh, that's that's about it, I think. Um, so let's, let's get started. So here, let's start creating our folders quickly, all right? So um, yeah, so there's one more thing. So one more person had commented on the video saying that, um, there are no like I've not done a lot of testing like I don't write tests in the in some of the projects so in this project let's write tests as well right so uh, we've done our simple microservice uh, project and now this is like a slightly more advanced project so let's cover interfaces and tests uh, test cases as well and as in how do you uh, do that it won't be very advanced test cases like basic acceptance testing we'll do right we'll write some of that and then but in the in the in the video that they'll come after this the next project series uh, we'll also do some seeding and you know automated seeding of of the database so that anybody who takes our the project from us uh, they get like a complete working project with complete data right so that'll be interesting anyhow so that's that's uh, so we're building one by one all right so in this project interfaces and uh, tests those two things you'll see and also the third thing will be make file so we'll be using docker and a little bit of make file uh, so that's the third thing that you'll get to learn in this video all right so the first folder we'll have is called cmd second folder we'll have is for our docker files third folder we'll have is for pkg and then we have our tests okay now for inside cmd i want to have two folders one is called microservices and the other is called monolith so it's the same project in monolith the same project we'll build in microservices but we can't like build my monolith first and then microservices uh, second the reason for that is that there's going to be some code that's going to be common so i don't want to repeat that whole code because that makes the video series very long and i'm sure you won't follow along for that long with me right so that's why i just want to keep the video series short so that's why I'll, I'll have some code that is common between both of them you can isolate them later on if you want to but that'll uh, you know require some time from your side it'll just create duplicacy in the project structure that's the only thing right so i'll keep some common things anyhow inside your package is where i'll keep some common files right so i'll say common and then um, i'll keep something called as orders and payments and shop all right so payments and shop make sure that you don't make shop inside payments and payments inside orders, right? You're making all of that, the, all of these four folders at the same uh, hierarchy inside package, right? So that's done. And inside your monolith, you'll just have a main.go file. That's it. And inside your microservices, you will have three folders. One is called orders. Next is called payments. Third is called shop. Okay. Inside orders, you'll have a main.go file. Inside payments and shop, also you'll have main.go file. So 
So when it comes to microservices, as you've seen in the previous uh, microservice series where we built a small microservice, you know that these are all independent. Uh, I think this is a folder, not this was supposed to be a file. Sorry, orders, payments, and shop. This should be shop. Inside that you'll have a file called main.go. Yeah, now it makes sense. So as you know, these are all three different independent programs, right? In Monolith, in Monolith, uh, orders, payments, and shop will be together as part of one pro project. But in the microservices, these three will be three independent programs running independent of each other. And that's why they'll have their own main.go files, right? Three different main.go files, but interacting with each other. I hope I'm making sense. All right. So that's the main thing that I want to show you before we get started, right? So the project structure is kind of uh, coming coming there. And uh, then inside package, inside common, inside common, we'll have three folders, right? One is called CMD. We have PKG. Um, sorry, 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 sorry. I'll just delete this. We have already created PKG. So inside common, we'll have uh, HTTP and price. Okay. And inside your orders folder, you'll have your application and your domain. Should have been at the same level, so there's some seems to be some issue. Domain needs to be at the level of application. Domain infra okay, and interfaces. So, like I said, you know, I, I've made some changes to my project and I'm going to be including interfaces now, right? Just to make sure you learn a little more uh, in this project. So the uh, the way we have our orders structure, we'll also have our payment structure. We'll have application infrastructure and interfaces. Okay, like application infrastructure and interfaces. We'll have those three things here. So I'll say application infra structure and interfaces. Okay. Inside shop. You'll have application infrastructure and interfaces, but you'll also have domain. So if you remember in the first video that I showed you of this series, the first video, I had said that payments won't be user facing, right? The payment microservice won't be user facing. It will only talk to orders and shop. Only shop and orders can be user facing microservices. That's why the payments folder does not have a domain. All right, so if, been, if you've been paying attention, you would already have noticed that, but I thought uh, I'll just point it out to you anyways, right? So inside um, shop, you need a file called fixtures.go I know you're not understanding anything that I'm doing right now and that's completely all right but we'll you know work on all of these things shortly so after you close all of these files here you also need to have a docker compose so your docker file first docker file and you'll have a docker compose file then you will have a make file all right so we'll create a couple of more files in your uh, common common uh, so instead of inside your packet inside your common folder uh, go inside cmd inside cmd you'll have your routers, so we'll have router.go. 
we'll have signals.co and we'll have weight.co all right so for um, inside HTTP you'll have error dot go inside price you'll have price dot go and price test dot go okay inside orders you have application and inside application you will have again orders dot go inside domain you will create a new folder called orders and inside this you will have a few files so you'll have address dot go address test dot go order dot go and order test dot co product dot co and repository dot co which will have basically some code to um, for for our database and everything all right so that's uh, the whole thing all right so these are these are most of the files that we want to create and there there are a few more files that we'll uh, you know worry about later on uh, if I show you everything right now then okay just one more file all right just create let's create one more file so acceptance test.co now obviously there are many more files that we have to create inside uh, payments and shop uh, but we won't worry about them right now all right so this is what you wanted to create I'll just click close off all these files now for your monolith inside your CMD uh, folder you will go to monolith and you will go to the main.go file and here we will create start creating a small structure right import and then you'll have a func main right and you'll have a function to create monolith all right so inside your main function you will have log dot print ln starting monolith program right so this is um, actually all I want to uh, cover in this video I'm slightly running short on time and I'm sure there's a lot uh, of data for you to also uh, you know get started with as in just complete the structure completely so that in the next video we can start actually um, writing a lot more code just create the structure properly so that you know um, you won't have to worry about uh, scrambling between files so you'll be sure that inside cmd which are the files inside http inside price and this package inside common inside package there's orders payments and shop just get that done and just uh, you know begin your monolith file like this in the next video we'll just quickly um, you know start creating all these other programs all right so i hope you're excited for this project series it's a very small cart kind of a uh, structure where we'll just have orders payment shop it's, it's very very simple very basic i mean uh, i don't even have users or login or sign up here right we just have orders we just have shop we just have payments inside shop we'll have products so that's why it's called shop because we'll have all the products listed there inside orders we'll have um, all the orders based on the products and payments are as you know it's just payments all right yeah, we won't be accepting payments mind you we won't have like stripe or razor pay or anything like that it's just payments like a like a structure object we are uh, building you know uh, which will be associated with an order 
so that's um, that's about it right so it's a very simple straightforward microservice uh, microservice uh, project uh, we'll build it in monolith we'll create microservices out of it we'll be using interfaces uh, like you know we'll be using make file docker test cases all of those things we'll be doing here and uh, here i won't be using um, gen and gonic i'll be using the g router chi i'll be using that because you know i, I like to keep changing things technologies uh, here and there so uh, soon, uh, like I think tomorrow day after, I'm going to also be starting a new series for e-commerce. Um, so I'll just create uh, like a introduction video, but it will actually continue after the restaurant management uh, project is completely over. Then we, the e-commerce will start. The e-commerce will have the exact same techn technology stack as the uh, restaurant management software, which will basically be gin and gonic, you know, all those different things. Exactly what we're using in our restaurant management. All right. So I hope uh, you're excited about this as well. And then uh, do subscribe to this channel so that you come to know whenever uh, these videos keep coming out and you keep learning Golang along with me. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.